Hi, I'm Dan from DP Review, and this is the new Fujifilm X-T2. Now, it looks a whole lot like the X-T1, but this camera actually incorporates quite a few updates we saw on the X-Pro2. It also has quite a few new features. Let's take a look. The X-T2 is the company's flagship SLR-style camera built for speed. It features a 24-megapixel APS-C sensor and makes use of an X-Trans filter array. The camera features a new shutter that goes up to 1 8,000th a second and is the first Fujifilm camera to offer 4K video capture. 4K can be recorded both internally or to an external device via HDMI out. The camera's flash system also gets a significant revamp, as does the whole menu system to match that of the X-Pro2. The menus now include AF case modes similar to those found in Canon's professional cameras. Physical changes to the body are fairly minimal. The camera is slightly heavier and the tripod socket has been centered with the lens mount. The camera uses the same electronic viewfinder and LCD as its predecessor. The screen still tilts but now articulates vertically as well. It now also features dual memory card slots as well as lockable dials. Lastly, Fujifilm went ahead and removed the video record button from the top of the camera. This struck us as a bit peculiar because in the X-T1, you can set that button to various functions. We've been really impressed with the X-T2's ergonomics. For an APS-C mirrorless camera, it offers advanced controls reminiscent of a higher-end DSLR. And one of our favorite changes is the inclusion of an AF selection joystick. Running out the package is a new battery grip, which when attached allows for three total batteries to be used. The battery grip also adds a headphone socket and includes a switch to set the camera to boost mode, increasing the camera's burst speed and performance. Once again, I'm Dan, thanks for watching. And for more on the X-T2, head to dpreview.com.